This is the second video of worked examples converting to and from Roman numerals. The first video is this one down here, and this one is the explanation video which explains how we do it in the first place. So if you can't do these, have a look at both of those. And could I please encourage you to have a go at these yourself um, before you see me go through them, because uh, that is absolutely the best way to learn. So if you haven't actually tried them yourself, then please pause this, have a go at them, and then start off again and I'll go over them. Right, let's get going. I'm going to start off by looking at those ones. Let me stand up here. I'm going to convert these into Roman numerals. So we've got 30. Now I've taken away the list of Roman digits, which I had there. So we'll need to remember them, okay? 30 is, remember, we do tens first, then units. So that's three tens and then eight. So our three tens, 30, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 44, we do 40. And 40, if you remember, is usually written as XL. And then we've got four, which is usually written as IV, like that. 59. Now remember that L is 50. So we have L, then we have nine which is usually written as IX. 249. So hundreds first. We've got 200, which is C, C. Possibly a way of remembering that um, C stands for 100 is that C for century, and a century is 100 years. That the word comes from the same thing. 200 and 49. We've got to do tens first. We can't just have um, a one and then the 50. That doesn't work. So we've got hundreds. Now we do tens. And 40, um, as we knew up there, is XL. Then we have the nine. Okay. 499. Okay, 400, first of all. That is 100 less than 500. And 500 is D, and 100 is C, so we can have C, D for 400. Then we've got to have 99. Um, 90 is 10 less than 100, so we can have X, C for 90. Then we can have 1X for the 9. Okay, I think I'll just put a, a line down here. I'll do the same over here, so that we don't crash into the other questions. Right, um, this one, 895. 800 is 500, which is D, 6, 7, 800, and 90, 5. Okay, 5,768. We've got a problem here. The problem is Roman numerals don't really count any more than 5,000, which is a bit of an issue, okay? Um, and there was something which in the later Roman Empire actually happened to allow that to be calculated because Roman numerals were originally used developed, it is believed, for commerce, um, accounting, counting items, counting money, that kind of thing. And they must surely have got up to the stage where they needed a number bigger than 5,000. And what they actually did, uh, and therefore you probably won't have got this right, well, you could, you could put lots of, lots of M's, you could put lots of M's, but that wasn't actually what they did. In order to represent numbers 5,000 and up, what they did is they took the number for 1,000 a factor of a thousand below, and they put a bar across the top. And putting a bar across the top of the number meant that it was multiplied by a thousand. So to have five thousand, we put the V for five. Then we put a bar across the top of it, like that. Then we do our 768. So 768 is going to be um, D for 500, 6, 
700, 50, 60, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> there are three ones squashed in that little gap there. Okay, 9,995. Uh, 9,000. We can do a 9, and we can put a bar across the top of it to be 9,000. So we have a 9 with a bar across. Okay. Then we have our usual 900, which is CM. Then we have 90, which is XC. Then we have a V. This is quite tricky. Very rarely, actually, in Roman numerals will you be asked to do anything bigger than 5,000. Um, 5,000 or up. Because it's not something which they did very often, and they had to develop this sort of cheat type fix uh, in order to do that. But you do occasionally see it. Okay, moving on to these ones where we're converting back from the Roman numerals. This is 50, 60, 9. So that is 69. This one is 90, which is XC, 4. This one, 1,000, 2,000, and 9. So it's 2,000 and 9. Remember, the Romans didn't have a um, figure for the zero. So it just you get 2,009 directly after it, with nothing in between, indicating that there are no hundreds. But we have to put the zeros in, otherwise it doesn't make sense. So here we've got... A thousand minus a hundred, that's nine hundred, and that's forty. So we've got nine hundred and forty. One thousand, two thousand, and two. So this is two thousand and two. This one, D is 500, C is 100, so that's 400 and 1. One thousand, nine hundred and five. Five hundred, Six hundred and four. I've intentionally put some quite tricky ones in there um, with missing uh, tens and hundreds and things so that you have to put the noughts in to make them make sense. That is not um, the easiest possible form of, of doing things. Now these ones up here, um, I've put years. I know some of these could equally well be years. Um, but these are all particular years which you might find on buildings, gravestones, uh, the more recent ones on films and television programmes, that kind of thing. So we've got here MCM. MCM is 1,900, and you very often see that um, on television programmes and films, of course. So that's 1,900 and 4. So we're talking 1904, if that is in fact um, a year. This one... 1,500, 6, 700, so we're 17, 50. So that would be 17, 50. This one here, 1,000, 2,000, 40, 1. So that's a year we haven't quite got to yet, although I might make it. 2,000... And 41. This one, 1,599. So that would be 1599. Okay, a few final ones down here. 1964. Now this would be M. CM 
for the 19, 50, 60, 4. 1802, that would be 1,000. 500, 16, 17, 1800, and 2. 12, 15, that would be 1,000, 200, and 15. And finally, 2001 would simply be 1,000, 2,000, and 1. So, there are a few years, and years really are the things that you're most likely to see, um, apart from clock faces uh, on Roman numerals, and clock faces, fairly obvious. OK, well, I hope that's been helpful. Um, so there's been an explanation video, there's been this one and that one, two videos of examples converting from Roman numerals back into um, the normal ones and, and, and back again. So hopefully, with a bit of practice, you will have got the hang of that. Um, just keep practicing, really. Um, maybe have another look at the other videos if necessary. Um, and I hope that's been helpful.